Hello friends, welcome to Insight Learners. So in this video, we shall discuss the coding part that was asked in Bitwise. So, but uh, in Bitwise, the questions will be different for different uh, candidates. So only the few parts are repeated, like the questions from analytical part and few aptitude questions as well as technical part. The questions are repeated, whereas coming to the coding part, so the coding question it will be different for all and some aptitude questions as well as analytical questions it will be not completely same the questions will not be some completely same questions you will get so there will be different so many of the so in analytical part and technical part many of the questions are repeated but coming to the coding part it is different so but you can expect the coding questions based on the arrays itself so we shall quickly see that so that you will get an idea like how questions come in bitwise so we shall see the coding question so in coding question the coding question the statement it is on allies and candies so the problem statement so bunny is a teacher and she wants to give some candies to the children in her class and all the children they sit in a line and each of them has a rating score according to his or her performance in the class so then bunny wants to give at least one candy to each child so if two children sit next to each other then the one with the higher rating must get more candies so the person so many of the candidates are sitting in a line and she want to give the candies based on the ratings that are being given to the student or the candidates the children based on their performance and if the person or if the ch child who sits next to the other has more rating then she gives more number of candies to that child and she gives at least one candy to each child so bunny wants to minimize the total number of candy she must buy so once she distributes the candy she will uh, minimize the means she is going to count the number of candies so first thing is we shall consider for example so for example so assume here the students rating they are in array so these are the ratings like 4 comma 6 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 2 and she gives the students the candy in the following minimal amounts so this is an example so first thing is for the first candidate so minimum number of candy she will give to each child is one so first person is four so four rating she gives one then the child who is next to other has higher rating compared to the previous child so she gives more number of candy so more than the first one so in the, for the first candy she has given one and for the second one the rating is high so she gives two candies next thing is four so four it is less than the so she four four is at a third position or the third child has the less performance compared to the second so she gives the less number of candies compared to this so she gives one Next thing is 5, so 5 again it is more than the 4, so therefore you can say the 5 it is having high rating compared to 4, so she gives 1, so she gives more number of candies compared to the previous, so previous she gave 1, for next candidate she gives 2, again next one is 6, so again 6 is the high performance compared to the previous one, so she gives, she increases the candy, so she gives 3. The next one is the 2. So next one is 2. It is comparatively less performance compared to the previous and you cannot give 0 and she said like she is going to give the minimum number of candy is 1. So she gives 1 in this order. So here she must buy a minimum number of candies is 10. So she buys a minimum of 10 candies and you need to complete the candies function in the editor below. So you need to just complete the function of the candies. And it must return the minimum number of candies the bunny must buy. So it should just return the number of candies. Minimum number of candies. So here n is an integer the number of children in the class. So the first input will be having a. So the first input line which denotes the number of children in a class. And ARR it represents an integer. That is uh, the ratings of each student which is stored in an array and input format so again here the first line contains an integer n and which represents the size of an array and next thing is the the third, second line which contains each of the next n lines it contains an integer arr of i which indicates the rating of the student at the position i so that is the first one which represents the size of array is 3 because there are 3 elements and next line which indicates an array and which indicates the rating at position i at 0th position rating is 1 at 1st position it is 2 and at 3rd and at 2nd position it is 2 
and the output format is simple it should display a single line which contains a minimum number of candies the bunny must buy so output is 4 so how to how the output is 4 we shall see with the ex explanation so here the array has so array consists of three ratings that is 1 comma 2 comma 2 is the rating so note that when two children have equal rating then they are allowed to have different number of candies so if here you can say both the candies have so both the children have same rating so then the number of candies which will be distributed to that child will be different so you can say the optimal distribution will be so for the first candidate rating is 1 and the minimum candy she is going to distribute is 1 so the for first candidate it is 1 then for second candidate since it is more than the so second candidate has a second can second children has a more performance compared to the first children so she is going to give more than the first so she is going to distribute the more candies compared to the first one so for first candidate she is given 1 for second she gives 2 then coming to the third one since both of them have same rating so she cannot give the the same number of candy she should give either less she cannot give more because it is same so she gives the less number of candies that is different number of candies so which she will she is going to give or she is going to distribute one candy for the child at the third position so you can say the optimal distribution is one comma two comma one and the minimum number of candy she should buy is one plus two plus one which is nothing but four so therefore you can say that it is displaying and so the output should display the four as the output so for this sample input which is an array size of array and these are the number of candy so these are the positions the children position or the you can see the rating for each children and this displays the minimum number of uh, candies the bunny should buy which is nothing but four so based on this you are going to write the code so in java so this is all about the coding question which was asked in bitwise so you may get same question or it will be different for others so you can prepare on the same thank you friends for watching and do subscribe our channel for more updates